Hello and welcome to The Lowdown, the official show for Download Festival 2013, right here on Scuds TV or on YouTube if you're watching the repeat. I'm Bees and by dingo, mate, by dingo, mate, yeah, not to stereotype Aussies too much, but we've got a wild show for you because I'll be chatting with Aussie Rock Loons Airborne about their return to the stage at this year's Download Festival and chatting to our own homegrown Globetrotters, <laughs> Enter Shikari, including an incredible story involving Rao and a goth. Plus, of course, we've got your requests and shout outs, your chance to win download tickets in the Downloads Big Ten, music videos from bands on this year's lineup, and our new feature, which you all went mad for last week, obviously. What would Bruce do? Cue the jingle. Black Black Brewster! It's a bonkers idea, we'll explain it later. Right, as you should obviously know, download's only a few months away now. It kicks off June 14th to the 16th. Have you got your tickets? And if not, why not, you stinky loser? Uh, day tickets are on sale now as well. Downloadfestival.co.uk for all the details you need. You do not want to miss this incredible lineup, which now includes these bands that were added this week. Chthonic and the Oriental Orchestra, Dragon Falls, yeah! Masters of Reality, Satyricon, Red, White and Blues, Fearless Vampire Killers, what's up lads? Fiddler, Palm Raider, good band, Rival Sons, get in, Little Caesar, Crocodile, you're not gonna wanna miss that, Peyton Pendit, Idiom, Voodoo Six, Hammer of the Gods, Ghost, he's got a bit of hat than me, hasn't he? Uh, and headlining the Zippo stage on the Friday of this year's Download Festival, this is Blackstone Cherry, are about to blame it on the Fatty Boom Boom. Blackstone Cherry there will be headlining the Zippo Encore stage on the Friday evening of this year's Dar Load Festival. Right, time for one more track in part one of the lowdown, playing just below Enter Shikari on the Saturday. It's one of my all-time favourite bands. Jimmy Eat World, Salt Sweat Sugar. Right, we'll be back after the break with Enter Shikari and the Down Lowell's Big Ten where you can wear a pair of Down Lowell's... Where? You can't wear tickets, that's mental. Only a plumber changed the channel now. Don't be a plum. Welcome back to The Lowdown, the official Darn Load show with me, Bees. Now, last week we had Corey Taylor and Hacktivist on the show. This week it's Airborne and Enter Shikari. Next week we'll be joined by Bullet From My Valentine and Craig Mabbitt from Escape The Fate. And coming up, we've got 30 Seconds To Mars. Oh, yes. Uh, Young Guns, Asking Alexandria, Him and Cancer Bats all making appearances on a future Lowdown. Pretty action-packed, innit? Right, I caught up with Enter Shikari earlier. It went like this. Bees on the lowdown, I'm here with two fourths of Enter Shikari. Uh, so we're going to talk about all things download. You were saying that it was the first festival before we started rolling. It was the first festival of note that you can remember playing. Yeah, it was, um, it was like our first time we'd ever actually played like a proper festival. And um, yeah, so it's, it's always been pretty special to us. We did play uh, one of them Harley Davidson gang bike festival things. Oh, oh yeah. really? It was, it was about this big. No place, way. So that yeah. probably doesn't count. How, how, do they take, <laughs> how did they take to the wob? The, oh, uh, this is probably pre-wob. <laughs> pre yeah, yeah, pre yeah, it was more yeah. sort of like... Yeah. Yeah. Were they, were they yeah. down? I think so. Pointing to the lasers? Yeah, just, you know, head banging <laughs> oh, the, as they there do. There wasn't a light show. Uh, wasn't it outdoor? Yeah. And yeah. yeah there's just like everyone was sharing one plug socket yeah. or something. Yeah. Do you get nervous before big festival shows? Um, yeah, I reckon Or did so. you in those days, like, super early? I, I'd imagine that, like, was, was this was this pre-Astoria or post-Astoria? Oh, I'm really, really putting them, putting wow. them to sword yeah, here. Yeah, this is a test. I, 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 think, I think Download was pre-Astoria. Right. I think it was, yeah. Yeah. So was it, like, the biggest... Did it feel like the biggest deal in the world? Or, or oh, were, yeah, you, were you able to take so. it in your stride? No, it was, like, the biggest deal. I remember, I think I was actually sick before this set. Yeah. Solid vomit. <laughs> yeah. I think it's like, uh, that's only happened like a couple of times, but yeah. And uh, yeah. so well, before we were rolling, Ra was talking about being punched by Goff. Uh, <laughs> how did uh, <laughs> go, explain yeah. your be? This is the first, the first on the lowdown violence. Well, yeah, that was uh, yeah. the the download that we supported. Well, we were, we were one under corn in the second stage. Mm. So there's a lot of you know. Filthy corn fans at the front. So, I mean, corn would have been bad, but a lot yeah. of my fans are filthy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> You're allowed to say this. Why have you punched him? <laughs> um, yeah, it's just, you know, typical. They probably just want to see corn and don't want to sit through art. Yeah. And so, yeah, just one of them clobbered me. I was like, Jesus, all right. And just kept going, so I had to... <laughs> really? Did it, weren't just happy to, s to settle at one? Well, I mean, I guess when, when you're standing on the, on the barrier and my yeah. crotch was probably right in his face, so... Um, yeah. 
you know, not not ideal for him. Certainly not. <laughs> not just fist pumping. No, 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 <laughs> no definitely actually not. Swinging no. for it. Yeah, fist swinging. For so sure. you also turned up as a secret band, like. How, the, how does that go? The, the, is there, did you get murmurs that people knew you were coming that day? or? Yeah, yeah. I think the, the rumours sort of travel somehow. I don't know who starts it, because it wasn't us. We were quite quite good at keeping the secret. I yeah. Think, but, yeah. I, I think I think we did we did sort of release it at some point during that day, otherwise like no one would have yeah, that is come true. to see us. There must have been some... I can't remember exactly how it worked now, but I'm sure we, we did leak it somehow. Right. Yeah. And the last couple of years has been Reading and Leeds where you've been. Uh, I think the most elegant way I could describe it as being proper chaos. Uh, <laughs> is, that, is that something that you're, that you're going to... Do you mix up... Because I've noticed you mix up your set a lot like in terms of the sound of each song, mm. is that something that you'll do more at download or, or do you cater it towards a heavier festival or will you just turn up and do what you do? No, we just turn up and just do what we do. Yeah. Yeah. Same, like, <laughs> no one gets special treatment. Uh, we'll there'll be arguments do. about the set list like, probably until we're going on. Oh, right. So, yeah, we don't really know what, yeah. what it will be. But yeah, there's, there's so much to choose from now. It's just, it's just tough. Um, <laughs> especially when you're condensing it into 45 minutes yeah. do, you, do you feel that like over the years the download has become more more fre- like people used to always worry about it being like Monsters of Rock and being like metal and being punched by goths um, yeah. does, that, does, that, is, does that become less of a worry as the years roll on um, I think all festivals seem to be kind of widening their musical scope like I don't know whether that's just literally to get the heads in or what <laughs> like, but I, don't, I think download still has its its identity very much so I don't think it's going to shake that off right I think that's a good thing as well is know. it something that you mm. take into consideration at all as a band because it's funny we have all, um, all kinds of all kinds of bands that have, that, that have been in and talking to us so like there's so many different perceptions mm. of what what to expect from a Donington crowd yeah, I don't know. Um, I mean, every time we've played it, it's been awesome. Like, the crowd's yeah. been great. Um, yeah, I, 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 to be honest, I, I've never really noticed, like, a massive difference. I mean, there's a few more, like, Metallica T-shirts and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, generally, it's, like, quite a similar kind of vibe to, like, a lot of other festivals, I'd say. Is it exciting to be back after four years as well? Because it, feel, it feels mm. like while the, chi- while the Shikari bubble has got bigger, like, yeah. it hasn't entered download for, for quite yeah. a while now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really exciting to, to go back and see you out, yeah. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Rad. Stick about. And Shikari are going to be answering your questions for more from the lowdown. <laughs> Right, more from Edith Shikari later in the show and they'll be back to answer your questions. Remember to check the SCUS Facebook page. The address will be down here now, I'm reliably told. Uh, only the best ones will make it onto the lowdown, so make them good, yeah? <laughs> right, time to give out some tickets. Santa Bee's time. It's the Dale Lowell's Big Ten. This week we asked you to pick what you'd like West Borland to dress up as for Limp Biscuit download set. Ten great answers, only one can win a pair of tickets, not wear them, to Download Festival this year. You ready? Ten. Paul Hillhouse says the new Pope ghost beating him to it. Liam MKH Hud said you should dress up like someone's nan and wiggle a walking stick like a I wouldn't want to hang out with you, you're a nutcase. Becky Francis says Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, specifically Donatello. You can tell a lot about someone about who their favourite turtle is. Who was your favourite turtle? Michelangelo, yeah, always, obviously. That's because we're alcoholics. Seven, Hannah Turner says a carrot. Fair enough. Ellie Hodder at number six says a, chi- a chicken dancing Gangnam style. Number five, Tom Stad says the ultimate warrior. Number four, Luke O'Brien says dress up in bear dench, in it. Two twos now. Nah. Three, Dave Ord says Sherlock Holmes so he can investigate where DJ Lethal's gone to. Like it, like it. Topical, controversial. Number two, John Joseph Hamlink says a turd sandwich. You'd have won the ticket. You'd have won the tickets if you'd have said a giant douche. Sorry, mate. And number one, Stuart Green says a giant rolling pin so he can keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Well done, Stuart. You're going to download festival. That's it for pot de. Stop trying to make me talk French. I'm awful at it. Still to come, Ent Shikari answer your questions. I chat to Yearborn. That's Airborn for all of you at home. Plus, what would Bruce do? Obviously. And of course, your shout outs and requests. See you in three minutes, 20 seconds. You're getting worse for that every week.
Welcome back to The Lowdown, the official Download Festival TV show with me, Bees. Time to grab a cold one and kick back with Airborne. Yeah, mate. Bees, welcome to The Lowdown with a very hungover Ryan and Joel from Airborne. Uh, where were you last night for the people at home? We were at Quo. We were at Status Quo. We were at Arena. Quo. And it was just, they just, just tore the roof off. They tore our roofs off, even though we don't have roofs, but our heads. Yeah, what, what have you roof of your head. Roof of your head. That's and, all right, uh, it's the roof of and, uh, your centre generally. Yeah, ge and uh, Jesus Christ, they were so good. Yeah. yeah. They just did not stop. They just kept chucking away, you know, and paraphrase just... They were just going. Yeah. Right, this is for the official download show. Right. So knowing that you are rock historians yep. from many a night in a pub, mm -hmm. uh, how, on a scale of one to ten, like well, when was the first time you heard of Donington? Uh, first time I heard of Donington when I was a kid, and we've had, uh, on the VHS, we had ACDC Live at Donington, and, and we Iron, had Iron Maiden Live at Donington. Iron Maiden. And we used to watch those videos back-to-back, over, back, over, and over, over, and over, over and over again, over again. before school, after school, we come home, get some chips and some Coke. You know, we couldn't uh, uh, Coca-Cola because, you know, we're the kids. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, go drink it then. And, and, then, and then we'd just be like watching, you know, we just watch this over and over again. And then, of course, we'd watch Airheads. Oh, yeah, every amazing. Day. Uh, and amazing. it's funny, the similarities between the band Airheads. And our band. And like the whole, yeah. the brothers and driving yeah. around. In the van, and also yeah. bad news. You remember bad news? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, they rock yeah. up at Donington, and they go, "We've got the gear in the van." Like, you know, <laughs> Mate, we're, we're, we're just like that. We asked, we asked Corey Taylor on his show last week uh, if he could pick any three bands to headline download. Who would it be? And bad news for one of yeah, his bands. Bad news. <laughs> Who'd win in a battle, bad. Lemmy or God? Yeah, uh, uh, Lemmy, Lemmy is God. Lemmy there is we God. go. <laughs> uh, so, how, on, a, on a scale of one to ten, how much were you looking forward to the first time you got put on the bill? A download oh. and like you like you had your tour itinerary yeah. and it's like there it is. We just the, kept like, looking at it. Just kept there. looking at it. Just we just kept looking mm. at that. Everything else sort of sort of blacked out or yeah. whited out. We just Mate. kept looking at that. Do you remember? The, do you remember the hour before you went on stage that first time? At oh, it's like, just it's just like first off, like you get a, the overwhelming like oh my god, yeah, you know, the respect of this place and wow, well, we got this chance to play here. But then it go you go okay, we've got to live up to the greats. We've, we've got to we can't come here and not leave any ounce of pint or blood or sweat that we didn't not want to leave, you know what I yeah. mean? Like we've got to put it all out there. We come all the way from Australia. We're here at Donington. We've been watching these videos since we were a kid. Mm. Um, and we've got, to, we've got to give this our all. Yeah. So that's kind of the thing that the, the Donington... You always go to, into every show treating it like your last show, but when you play Donington, you really do treat it like it was the last show you were ever going to do. Mm. And I think that's just the, that's the thing about it, you know. I have to ask about climbing... At yeah. festivals. If you haven't seen Airborne at a festival yet, this bloke scares the living <laughs> out of health and safety officers <laughs> across across the world. Uh, yeah. When when did it first come <laughs> about that you'd start climbing up to the lighting rig? Because usually people will get about halfway up mm. and stop and fist pump and then yeah. get down. But you <laughs> you to the very top. When did that first come about? Well, there's a festival in Australia. It was called Moomba Fest, and, right. uh, and we were like one of the second bands on the bill, and no one really gave. About who we were or anything, yeah. we're just making a lot of loud noise. Yeah, uh, and it's like it's, do. it sounds like a lot of loud ACDC coming from over there. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, so uh, basically, I thought Fuck these guys' attention, like <laughs> you, you know, they're watching this other band, like them, you know. Like so, I climbed up the top of the stage and doing really solo, and all these people start going, "Oh my god, this guy's a nut!" <laughs> <laughs> and so they come over and they're looking out the band, and then because Ryan's at the beat, you know, yeah. and the boys are rocking on the stage, and then like, oh, this is actually not bad, this stuff. Yeah. And, then, and then doing the solo, I'm like, yeah, fist pumping at the top and that, and then I climb down, we finish off the set, and we had them all like this at the end, you know, clapping their hands, and it was like, oh, and then after that, we went, all right, so we'll probably do that wherever we go. <laughs> we started out on the on the bar. Right. In the pub. It's I've seen you do this before, yeah. kicking people's pints. Yeah, kicking the pints. <laughs> and, but we used to have a house in Melbourne where the band used to live, like right. De Def Leppard style, you know, yeah, the yeah. house where everyone moves Joel in. Joel ran to the kitchen. I do, I, we, we, pre, we have a stage in the <laughs> lounge room, right? Season. We have a stage in the lounge room. I'm going, just doing Joel's running around the kitchen. And so we're rocking out for 30 minutes the in the lounge room. Get in. <laughs> yeah, and then I rock out, jump on the kitchen bench and do it a solo, and then run back into the room where we're jamming. And then like we go, all right, that sounds pretty good, we'll do it again. But then the thing is, when we did our first show in Melbourne, everyone went, holy what is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all together, you know. We were all like a, we were a very like we weren't the best band in the world by far, but we were a f***ing unit and we were, yeah. we were tight. We were tight. And it was all, when you come from Warnable, Warnable bands always go, they're tight, yeah, the good band, yeah, the tight, yeah, you tight, <laughs> got to keep tight, boys, yeah, keep tight, yeah, 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 yeah. keep tight. Yeah. So we always keep tight. Uh, nice. Yeah. So that was the thing. So when Melbourne first, uh, when we first hit them, they were like, because we'd been rocking out, you know, on the kitchen bed. Cool. And 
Ghost. Just kicking the noodles over and stuff. Uh, so, uh, so black, black dog barking, finished. Yeah. On a scale of one to ten, how much are you looking forward to playing these songs um, live? Can't wait, mate. Can't Absolutely wait. can't yeah. wait. Can't We've been, wait. It took us you know, two years to get through a bunch of stuff to get this album done. It's finally done. We've got this itch that needs to be scratched. It's, we're basically itching and to scratch and play at this. Just play. Mm. And the, the reintroduction will be at Donington. Yeah, exactly, exactly right. And that's going to be perfect. There mm. you go. Yes, it will be. Well, there's a video coming for Live It Up, but we'll wait on that. For now, we'll play Running Wild. Stick around for more from the lowdown. Now, Eddie Shikari are going to be putting bass in your face when they headline the Zippo stage on the Saturday night of this year's Download Festival. You sent in your questions. Here are their answers. Shikari answering quite your questions. Um, Lewis Maggot for Life Bennett wants to know Sick. if you could be one superhero, who would it be? Mm. It's so multi layered when you think about this. Do you go for speed, do you go for intelligence, power? Do you guys remember Banana Man? I remember Banana Man. No, that, that's, Little that's, Eric. That's, yeah, that's yeah. the one. What was his special power though? He just ate a banana, he just like. Oh, he was like, yeah. you know, just like proper. I have it on good authority, that's how King Kong started. Yeah. Really. <laughs> no, I totally made that up. <laughs> um, it's it's got to be Superman, definitely. He's an unfair superhero, Superman. He can fly, he can't be shot, eyes out the lasers, eye, lies, lasers out the eyes. Know, be good for the live the, show. But he's got the worst, um, the worst disguise ever. Like he just takes his glasses off. It's fair. Yeah. It's fair like point. So like, what, what if he was walking on his glasses fell off? <laughs> and be like, doesn't, oh my god! Doesn't Superman change in a phone box as well? He'd have difficulty these days because there aren't many phone boxes about. Yeah, it's true. Or well, then you just get them ones that are just like a phone in a not in a box. You know, it's just a just just a there. thing right there. There's mm. no privacy. No, no, no. He'd no, have no. a problem there. He'd have to be quick. <laughs> Getting uh, spandex off. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe Ross says, which song from the latest album are you most proud of writing? Hmm. It's like asking you to pick your favourite kid. Yeah, but yeah, very much so. Um, probably Constellations, just because it's so different and it's yeah. such a, a, a kind of uh, intimidating vibe for us to try and nail. Yeah, but I think we hmm. at least nailed it halfway in. But it's funny. One of the one of the other questions that we didn't ask because we asked this one was: Is there going to be more stuff like that in the future? Yeah, I mean, who knows? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe we're not, we're just <laughs> this having... is the sound of a man at the end of a talk. I don't yeah, ask me yeah. about the future. <laughs> <laughs> right. Sam Butler says, you guys are mental live. So if you could do anything live without with an unlimited budget, what would it be? Uh, I, I watched some random little clip of Taylor Swift someone showed me the other day where she had like some platform that like popped up out of the stage and she like propelled her into the air. No way. So that would be that looks so, so fun. much fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dragon Force yeah. had trampolines. Yeah. Not the same yeah, thing. Yeah, we, we did that. Uh, but we had well, a little well, trampoline. Yeah, it was only like it was literally about that big. <laughs> it was pretty <laughs> it was pathetic, quite, really. Yeah. It didn't really do anything like. <laughs> we were just like, <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> it was a big anticlimax. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thought that counts. Uh, yeah. Uh, Kyle Seven Oaks says, uh, "What's a shikari and how are you entering it?" Um, well, Shikari means the hunter, so it's like enter the hunter. Um, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. There's various Metaphorically, not yeah, physically. Things, yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is it sort of like the start of a, a script, isn't it? Like yeah, a like play, a play, like you know, enter ah, whatever character. Yeah. Shikari is the character, basically. I did not yeah. know that. Uh, ben Cowper says, um, what's your proudest moment of 2012? Proudest moment... Um. I mean, we did the whole European festival circuit, which was so much fun. Mm. Yeah. Um, I mean, like Rock and Ring was like seventy thousand people or something we were playing to. That was mental. Incredible. Was that um, main stage as well? Yeah. Reading crowd surfers. Yeah, surely I mean, got to be up there mm. every year now. That, yeah, that memory yeah. just gets even more <laughs> cemented into our heads. Yeah. It's the same every year. Well, it gets better to be honest. It's, yeah. It's um, nuts. I, I, I completed um, expert Sudoku. Well, I'm wow. really proud of that, actually. That's intense. So. Is, that, is that something where you have to go back and like beat higher scores, or is it just like once it's been achieved, it's been achieved? It's been achieved, and you can just hang your Sudoku hat. <laughs> 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 uh, and Charlie Watts, presumably not the drummer from the Rolling Stones, uh, <laughs> asked, uh, what inspired you to create Johnny and the Snipers? 
Um, like boredom on tour or something. Yeah, yeah something it was to in the you. studio, wasn't it? When yeah. you, you, you work out a piano part, and then you started jamming with a, yeah. a a walking bass, and then it just kind of escalated and got out of control, and we ended up with a video. Yeah, it's that cabin fever in the studio yeah. where you're just like recording. I don't know, fifteen, sixteen hours a day. And it's like, and you start playing some silly jazz part. You're like, oh, this is good. You listen to it <laughs> yeah. the next morning, it's like, what the hell? We can't really use that as shikari, but we can deviate yeah. from that. Is it, fun, is it fun making the videos as well? Yeah, that, that yeah. was really fun, yeah. It, I just it's got just, to smoke cigars and drink whiskey all day, it was great. Solid. <laughs> it's just sort of like in-jokes that just get out of hand, really. Yeah. So these things normally start. Uh, we've asked the same question every time, so I'm going to keep it going. Uh, what's your favourite dinosaur? Mm. All the highbrow um, stuff on the, the lowdown. Mm. Maybe the Diplodocus. Because it's got the funniest oh, yeah. name. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, so, it's a gentle giant as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly, it? yeah. It's like massive, quite intimidating, could probably just squash you with its foot, but, you know, friendly chap as well. Still brutal. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Made it brutal in its own way. <laughs> Shikari on the lowdown, uh, June 14th to 16th. I had to remind myself there, that's when they'll be at download one of those days. Now it's the highlight of your week, and every week for the next couple of weeks, just for Lolsters, we've given Iron Maiden's very own Bruce Dickinson a set of scenarios and want you to guess which option he goes with. This week, we asked him, would he rather be captured by cannibals in the jungle or pirates at sea? Blackbird Booster! Oh, that's a difficult one. That's tough. It is a bit, Bruce. Um... Come on, Bruce, we ain't got all day. Right, while he's thinking about it, we'll go to an ad break. What do you think he goes with? Hit us up on Twitter now, at ScuzzTV and hashtag WWBD. The answer will be coming up right after the break. See you in a bit. Welcome back to the final part of the lowdown. Oh, sad face. Earlier, we asked Bruce Dickinson, would you rather be kidnapped in the jungle by cannibals or at sea by pirates? You've had your say on Twitter, but here is what Bruce would actually do. I wouldn't mind either as long as they were women. Blackbird Booster! Bruce, big in the female game. What would Bruce more? What would, <laughs> more? what would Bruce do next week? You can, of course, catch Iron Maiden smashing it on the main stage at this year's Download Festival. We are hoping that we're going to be able to bring you an Iron Maiden special edition of the lowdown between now and June, but we'll keep you updated on that in due course. Exciting times indeed. It's that time where we hand the show over to you for your shout-outs and requests, so let's get on with it. Sue Ball wants to give a shout out to her husband Kieran Ball and his mate Ian Tuck as they can't wait to see Iron Maiden, us neither. Joe A. Wood wants to give a shout out to Dave Malloy, Guy Padfield and A. Wood as they're buzzing for their first time at download, so you should be. Sam Raymond wants to give a shout out to her badass nan who bought her ticket last year. She's got pink spiky hair and wishes she could come with you. Sounds like she should be in cold chamber. Nadine Folly wants to ask Ben Bruce if he'll marry her. We can't make any promises, but we can play Asking Alexandria to the stage. They're going to be coming up on a future lowdown. Stick about. Right, time for one more request. Lana Vanity Purdy wants us to play Devil's Night by Motionless in White as she'll be trying to attempt to sneak into Download Festival. She hasn't got a ticket yet. Buy one, you gypsy. They're going to be on the Pepsi, the Pepsi main stage on Friday. Can I get away with that? I guess we'll find out. Don't complain. Right, that's it for this week. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week where we catch up with Bullet for my Valentine and Escape the Fate. Bosh. Remember, downloadfestival.co.uk, get in there now. The festival's sure to sell out. They've got day tickets on sale now as well, so don't say we didn't warn you. Until then, roar like a lion. Roar, roar, roar like a lion. Roar. <laughs> what? Ah, see you next week.